So today is August 1st, uh, and you saw two clips when we started the video here today. The first one was back the very end of June. We combined off the rye. Uh, we were talking about we planted some of the beans uh, underneath the rye, let the rye grow up instead of roller crimping it, and then combined the rye off, so you saw that clip. And then I threw in there, uh, just drove by the fields, you kind of got a sense for what we're looking at here, about 9 or 10 acres. Um, it's hard to tell now that the rows are kind of closing, the different areas the, that were drilled versus 30 inches, uh, but you can see it a little bit there. Uh, it started on the uh, west end that was drilled into the rye and then planted 30 inches into the rye and then conventional till uh, and then drilled. The line where the drilled versus 30 inch conventional till starts is that if you go back and watch it, it's that uh, brownish area. That's where the you can see here we had the weed zapper come through. And so on this side here, this side there, uh, that was we took the rye off for forage, tilt the field, and this is 30 inches. And then on the other side there, that was drilled in, and then we weed zapped, and the weed zapper hit the top of the foxtail. So we'll walk out there a little bit, look at what we've got uh, going here, first of August and uh, just a little bit of a checkup on the field. So we're over in the area that was tilled. There was rye grown on it. We cut the rye for forage, worked the field uh, with the disc, and then planted with a drill. You can see uh, we've got a lot more issues with foxtail in this area. Uh, and yeah, they were dinged with the weed zapper. I'm not sure that that's really going to take them out. It might just slow them down. And I happen to be standing right where the weed zapper drove, so Yes, we were we were running down beans doing this, um, and so it'll be interesting to see. There's some spots over here that are a lot cleaner. There's not really much for weeds growing there. Bean stage right now. These are uh, just a hair under waist high, and you can see here. If I can get stuff out of the way, let me pull one out of the ground. That might be easiest. So we do have pod setting here on these beans. Uh, these I think are group two, two beans I think. Uh, I think the plan was to get them out early and maybe plant something here to pasture the cows on. Um, so that's kind of what we're looking at there. We are somewhat adequate moisture but not a lot in the subsoil so hopefully we can get another rain in the next week to keep these pods from aborting. Probably a little bit later on I'll do some more pod counts and see more what we've got going on in terms of you can never really get a good yield potential on beans but we can at least count nodes and pods. Uh, so this is where we tilled 30 inches. You can see down here we got two passes with the cultivator. There's some little weeds but they're really shaded they're not going to amount to much and we've got pod setting here pretty well. These beans are taller than the drilled beans by a little bit, um, just a hair over waist high. And then we'll walk over to where we have the rye that was no-tilled in. Okay, here's the area where we combine the rye off of the beans. Uh, I, it was a little hard to find where the rows were, so I did end up running over some of the beans with the combine. This would be a lot more ideal if we would have had auto steer on the combine, RTK, all those fancy things. You can see we've got some ragweed coming through. The cleanest so far out of all of these is might be to toss up between the 30 inch full tillage and the drilled. We'll have to go look at the drilled a little bit better. We, you can see we've got a good rye mat here. There are a few weeds coming here. Nothing very intense. Um, we actually have some clover growing up through the rye. The rye yielded probably around that 20 to 30 bushels, nothing super exceptional, um, but with the price of rye, organic rye especially, it was worth our while. These beans are a little bit further behind. They are setting pods, you can't see it very well, uh, but the pods are a lot smaller. These are definitely shorter. If you talk to anyone that's done a lot of no-till beans, they will tell you that generally they uh, do not grow as much until later into August and then they'll take off. Um, so we'll come over here into the 
the area that was drilled. So this rye, I, we did try to combine through some of this. Uh, there was very little rye, actually, and I think we maybe did more harm than good trying to combine it. But you can see there's really not a lot for weeds in this. These beans that were drilled into the standing rye, and then we, we never got around to roller crimping it. Uh, again, we do have some clover down there, and the beans are not quite as far along as those that were in the full tillage setup. Uh, again, we still have some ragweed that's poking through, um, and we I happen to be walking in a path right here that was weed zapped. So that's what it looks like. The, the drilled beans have fully canopied over all of the rye stubble. Um, I mean, it's it's down there. But you can't see it at all compared to the 30 inch beans. There's a lot of rye stubble still there poking through. The 30 inch beans just really haven't filled in and they haven't canopied um, compared to what was drilled in. And some of that might have to do with the combine tracks, but I don't think it, I think a lot of it has to do with these rye stalks standing here. Um, and then the beans haven't branched out into them. I think if we had a way where we could have knocked down this rye as we're combining, um, maybe combined a little bit shorter with some guards to, for the beans, that it might have incentivized these beans to branch out. You can see there is like new growth. It's hard to see from your guys' angle, but after the rye, you can tell there was some new growth. It's trying to grow into this area, but there's just enough shade from those stalks that it's not really taking advantage of that space right now. So that's how things look right now. Uh, I'm not sure, we might do another update later on in the summer. And then obviously the harvest update, we'll see how things are. And uh, I guess if you have any other questions, leave them in the comments or get a hold of me. If you have other, uh, I'm active on the O-Grain network as well as a couple other social media platforms. So there you have it. That's our update for August 1st. Hoping for some more rain to finish this crop off.